Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome to another edition of Cut the Tape. I am Rick Alvarez. Today is a special day for Cut the Tape. Because we're going to be opening some unique, historical, some childhood memories. And because I'm a big kid and I have kids of my own, I invited one of my kids to join me. My assistant is Casey. So, we have our knife. And uh, there's a few things we're going to open. The first is a box off eBay. Or it's not eBay, it's Facebook. Can I help it? Hang on a second. So I saw this in my feed. It's not Transformers, I'll give you a heads up. There's there's gonna be Transformers on this show. Just just relax, just re relax. Uh, but I saw this in my feed and like, I had that as a kid. And I want to have it again. And here it is, it's been sitting in our house for a few days. And uh, I thought I would open it and show Casey the type of toys I played with when I was a little girl. You're not a little girl. All right. <clears throat> so this is a different cut the tape because it's not in the box. It's in a bag. Looks like all the pieces are in the bag. So I had this as a kid. This has sentimental value to me. It's a Star Wars piece. And uh, I thought, you know what, let me open it with my kid because I was about her age when I had this. Maybe a little younger. How old are you now? Eight and a half. How old? Eight and a half. Oh, I was definitely younger. So. This, I can't believe I have one of these again. Wow. This is the Ewoks fire truck from the Ewok animated series. So this is, this is a little toy that I had when I was your age. See, they would put water in here and the Ewoks would pull this Right, and they can take the ladders off and put the ladders and then climb the ladders up. And then look, these two ladders combine. Mm. All right, and then here, here are the Ewoks. All right. So, here I'll show you. I'll show you how this all goes together. So these clips hold the ladders in place, and then. Uh, then you take these, take these water buckets, and you, you put them on the side. The you can, yeah, but let's just pretend. You know, you put them on the side. Look, there's a little thing here that opens. Mm -hmm. The bed of the fire truck. And you can put this, uh, like a gurney in here to carry injured Ewoks to, to safety. And then it comes with Wicket, and I don't know her name, we'll call her Nala. Whatever. And then you put them in here. And that is the Ewoks Kenner fire truck. And I had this as a kid and I played with this all the time. I played with this all the time. So, um, I'm gonna let you play with that. All right, since we're playing with that, which is from my childhood, Here's something else from my childhood that just came out again. So, we're not gonna open all the Ghostbusters. We're gonna open one. So Casey, when I was your age, maybe even a little younger, 
Ghostbusters was a really, really popular cartoon show. It was a movie. It was a toy line. I had a few of the toys. I never had the Ecto-1, which is the car. And I never had the firehouse. And I don't really collect that much Ghostbuster stuff. I have a few things. Um, but I always wanted to get the figures again. And they finally put out the figure. This is a brand new version of the same figure that I had when I was a kid. All right. So I'm going to be really careful opening up this, this thing rather than just like ripping it open. Take my time, take my knife. Remember, Casey, you never want to cut towards yourself. You always want to cut towards your enemy. What if you don't have an enemy? Oh, uh, trust me, you're an Alvarez. You got enemies. Now, it is a, there's a couple of little differences between this and the original one, and I don't think I have an original one. I think I may still have my figures, but I don't have their proton packs. So, wow. Everything that came out when I was your age is coming out again. Man, it feels so much smaller. I remember these being way, way taller. So here's Ray, Ray Stance. And wow, he just feels a lot smaller. I remember those things, these things were like 12 inches to me when I was a kid. They can be tiny. Yeah, like figures tiny can be tiny. People. And this is a ghost, and he captures that ghost. They can be like tiny people. With his proton pack, which, when I was a kid, all these broke off. So I couldn't do this anymore. All these parts were still in there. But the little nub to turn them. So watch, watch. I'm gonna show you how this goes on. This goes on the back, right? And for the longest time, for years and years and years, I always had it like that. Never, never, never once realizing it was upside down. This is a proton pack. And this is based off the cartoon show. And he stands here, and this is a little ghost that he's gonna capture. Then he can take this, put it in his hand, and light him up. Just remember, Casey, whatever you do, don't cross the streams. So that's race dance. That's awesome. I wonder if this is the actual photography from the 80s, or this is, this is new photography. So, we've done Star Wars, we've done Ghostbusters, <clears throat> two things which we've never done on the show before. And those are the ghosts. They used to sell these cans of slime, and then inside the can of slime, there was another ghost inside of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then He-Man also had a can of slime, and then one time my friend Robbie put the can of slime in my hair, and we couldn't wash it out. And his mom had to do like a walk of shame to bring me over to my house. And then I had to go get a haircut. So there we go. There's Ray Stance. This is, this is real vintage. I think these, maybe these go up here. I don't remember. But, you know, I had both these toys when, when I was a little kid. All right. <clears throat> now. I did buy a few other things. Uh, let's see. I got a box. I got a, I got a big box from Collecticon. Why and, does it say in the box? Well, because he's reusing a box. You know, he's being smart. He's leaving a, a small carbon footprint by there's reusing like, a box. There's like um. Yeah, so he's reusing a box. So we'll put it down here and we'll see. I actually forgot what it is I bought from him. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. 
Oh, he said there was a gift in here. Thank you, Paul. There's a shirt inside. That's very nice of you. Is it from Ripped Apparel? Or let's see. Oh, this is a real licensed shirt from uh, China. No, you cannot have the tag because the tag has to stay on it. The tag is very cool. It's holographic. It's Nemesis Prime. It's Why the, uh, the, well, this one's too small for me, but maybe you'll grow into it. It's a little too big for you. Then you can take the tag off. And then, yeah, if you ever wear it, we'll take the tag off, but we'll put the tag back in the bag so that we don't lose the tag. And it looks like it's based off the uh, Nemesis Prime uh, model kit. So that's a nice gift. Thank you, Paul. That's a nice gift. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so I moved the box down here because I think there's a few things that we can't necessarily show on TV. But... You know, you know those cases where I have a whole bunch of the same guy? You know, where it's like I have all the, bl the blue and white guys and I have all the purple guys. Oh, and yeah. You're right. So these are more guys that I need to open and put in that case. Yeah. Yeah, there's some stuff in there we can show. Yeah. All right. So uh, here. We'll open this. This is a scraplet. And this particular design of a scraplet was on the show that daddy worked on transformers prime uh, but it's coming out here in the cyberverse power of the spark line so i don't know if these scraplets are in the show or they just said hey we got a really cool scraplet design let's put it in the show i, I really haven't seen the show so let's see what this is all about you know while i'm doing that here you play with race dance don't break them Why does lightning like strike on ghosts? What? What's that? Like why does um the light um the like the ghost the, on, the like, proton the pack? All right, let me close this. The proton pack, right, mm -hmm. captures the ghost, and then one thing that none of the Ghostbusters ever had was like a trap. The the figures never had a trap where you can put the ghost on top of the trap and then it goes in it would have been a really small accessory. But see, the ghost stands here and he's like, eh, hey, I'm gonna steal this Ewok fire truck. And then you pretend the ghost is away. And then, and then the Ghostbusters say something um, like, we're the best, we're the beautiful, we're the only Ghostbusters. We're back! So, you haven't seen Ghostbusters yet? The more I watch that movie, the more I realize it may not be for kids. So, you know, there's scenes in it that you don't realize as a kid what that means. All right, so this is my first time actually handling a scraplet. I got a few of these, never opened them. Scraplet, oh, look at that. Ah! You don't need a Ghostbuster because you got a Scraplet and he's going to eat that ghost. Ah! Stick your finger in here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, look, look at that. Ah! Ah! See, look, it's got a spinning mechanism inside of it. Can I see? You can see with your eyes. We're going to put this in the, in the case. Ah, here, you can play with that. That is really cool. I mean, it's a giant scra scraplet if you're like playing, hang on, I just want to talk about the size. I mean, it's enormous if you're comparing it. And I guess it has a little transformation feature. You know, it's got the big puss in boots eyes, right? And then it's like, ah, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah. There should have been like a Comic-Con exclusive where you get like 10 of these. Daddy, stick your finger out. No, because something else might happen. Why 
Huh. Now, here is the cut the tape I wanted to talk about. Lucas, I'm sorry, you gotta do some editing, but this is what we're gonna do. So, this is the officially licensed Transformers figure Technic Lego style Optimus Prime. Very nice box. All right. I heard it takes some time to put this together and we have to follow an app. Luckily, since the app is all in like Chinese and your mom won't teach us Chinese, uh, we got Paul from Collecticon Toys. He hack the hack, put it online, on YouTube, and we're gonna look at that hack, that app, video, that gives us the instructions, because there's no instruction booklet in this. And we're gonna put this together, doing that. It's gonna take a while. I heard it takes a long time to put this together. So we're gonna open it now, we'll pause, and then we'll, we'll come back, and we'll do like a time-lapse video, and I'm gonna try and put this together from start to finish. Okay. All right, but let's take a look inside the box right now. Do you want to come over here and see the, the transformer, Maddie? What is it, Maddie? Okay, well, sometimes Legos have extra parts. Are we doing speed right now? No, we're not doing speed right now. We're just going to open this up. We're gonna talk about what we see inside. All right, now. And when you stable it, right? Interesting, interesting. It's got a really, it's got a, it's got a weight to it, you know? It's heavy, oh right? Oh my God. It's really, really heavy. I mean, it's a really nice box, but it's heavy. Oh, beautiful presentation. Absolutely beautiful presentation, yeah. It looks like a so, box. we want to be careful sometimes because with boxes like this, the oils in our hands can um, stain the box, right? So, it looks like we have a number of bags. Bag seven. Bag four. It goes all the way up to bag 12. 13. 14, 15. So we have 15 bags. Lego? Oh, look at this. This all comes apart. Mm. Maddie. This all comes apart. So let's see. Oh, look at this. Maddie. Oh. That, that is a big, that's a big head. Just to give you comparison between, hey, let's show them the size differences, right? So there we got the scraplet, if you know what that is. If you're an older kid like me. Yeah, so like when I was a kid, I, I always put them like this and I never understood. Like I always had them standing on ledges because I never, I never got it that it was upside down. Here it is next to next to Ray. I mean, that is, that is pretty huge. What is that thing? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a little secret, like. That is an excellent presentation. But let's see what's inside here. Maddie, can you stop that, please? Oh. Maddie, please stop. We got some stickers. I've never seen sticker paper like this before. So we have some stickers. We may have to scan these in for historical purposes. And then we have a booklet, which I believe 
kind of gives you the gist of what's going on. You gotta scan this QR code. It takes you to the app. The app's all in like, I wanna assume this is Chinese. Uh, I don't know my kanji that well. So we're gonna stop here and then we're going to uh, have another monitor over here and I'm gonna put this together all in one sitting and see how it goes.